Hello everyone, I'm Lou Del Monte and welcome to Del Monte on Science. In today's videos, we're going to talk about the multiverse and essentially we're titling the videos, The Multiverse Doesn't Solve the Major Cosmological Problems. And that's because when you look at the Big Bang, uh, which is a, a, a pretty cohesive theory and we have a lot of evidence that it's correct, uh, there are still problems, even with uh, my assertion of the Big Bang duality theory, there are still questions about where does the energy come from that actually creates the, uh, the virtual particle duality that I postulate. Uh, in the multiverse theory, uh, there is even less evidence. However, uh, many fine physicists uh, like uh, Chiyo Kaku at uh, the uh, City University of New York has written about the multiverse extensively and it's captured a lot of, uh, uh, of uh, people's uh, imagination and attention. And you might think that this is a new concept. Well, the multiverse just popped up in recent times. Well, it's actually not a new concept. The word multiverse was coined over 100 years ago in 1895 by a philosopher and psychologist William James. And it's been used extensively uh, from that time to the, to the present time in science fiction and in science writing. Now, it's a little bit uh, contradictory because the word universe comes from the Latin and that means entirety, entirety, okay? So when you talk about multiverse, you're talking about more than the entirety of, of something, which is contradictory. But nonetheless, the term is caught on and we are using the term, the multiverse. Now, I want to be clear that that's not the only term that's used to describe the concept of, of many universes, many worlds. For example, other terms like super universe, parallel universes, parallel worlds, and the bulk, and I use the bulk quite a bit in my book, Unraveling the Universe's Mysteries, which is available at uh, Amazon in both a Kindle and a uh, paperback, and it's available at Barnes & Noble in a Nook version, that um, I use the bulk to describe the uh, super universe, and I explain uh, what that is, what it means. And a lot of other physicists have used the same terminology, bulk, super universe, multiverse. Uh, Dr. Kaku uses uh, multiverse quite a bit, the words multiverse, and it's a, it's a one word multiverse. What the multiverse theories attempt to do is address the shortcomings of the Big Bang Theory. And so they attempt to address, for example, the origin of the Big Bang. And traditional Big Bang Theory does not address the origin. Now, I uh, put out a series of videos that talked about the origin of the Big Bang and a new theory called the Big Bang Duality Theory. And I do describe, I think, reasonably well, based on solid science, the origin of the Big Bang. But the multiverse does the same thing. The same type of uh, approach is used. And it's been, as I said, widely accepted by a number of physicists that it does exist. However, uh, let me give you a caution. You should have an open mind, but there is no, at this point, no physical evidence that we have more than one universe. So uh, that's one of the things that the critics have been pretty, pretty uh, critical about, that we're postulating a multiverse uh, to explain a universe we can see and measure, we're postulating a multiverse that we can't see and measure uh, in order to explain the one we can see and measure. So that's, a, that's something to be uh, cautioned about and also something uh, that uh, you, you should examine, uh, but keep in mind that this is a, more of a theoretical argument 
and that until data becomes available and strong data, and I did mention that uh, we have seen some data that the multiverse exists, and that there were rings on the uh, cosmic uh, microwave background that uh, some scientists are attributing to the uh, uh, multiverse, other universes bumping into ours. Now, uh, a prominent uh, cosmologist and physicist, Max Tegmark, uh, and also uh, Michio Kaku, both prominent physicists, believe that you can infer that a multiverse exists just based on the theories of science and that uh, the theories of science would predict the multiverse. Uh, and we're beginning to make discoveries that suggest that a multiverse may exist. Max Tegmark and other scientists have actually went so far as to put the multiverses into uh, four uh, separate categories so they could talk about them. And each category actually builds one upon the other. And it's a brick by brick approach where the the uh, subsequent uh, categories are used and built upon to explain the next category. So that's what we're going to do. We're now going to talk about the uh, four categories of the multiverse, and we'll do this in the next video post. Thank you.